Hey everyone, Dave Levy here with uh, Media Services or Tech Services Media or whatever they're calling us, CTS Media, whatever our title is now. I'm here to help you merge your um, calendar, your Google Calendar. How does the Google Calendar work with WebEx? And also let's go over the new WebEx login while we're at it. So stay tuned, here we go, WebEx time again. Okay, so there's a new uh, WebEx <clears throat> site, right? It's maricopa.webex.com. So it used to be mesacwebex.com if you work for Mesa Community College. Now it's maricopa.webex.com. So be sure to log out of all that, sign into this new Maricopa account, um, and you're going to be using, yeah, this one, your MEID at maricopa.edu. Enter that in. It'll forward you over to this that ID broker. Sometimes it'll forward you to that second login where you use your MEID and your password. So enter your MEID and password. Otherwise, here we go. We're inside of the new WebEx. It looks exactly the same as the other WebEx. So nothing new there, except that you'll see your URL is different for your personal room. And all the URLs are going to be different for the events you schedule. So let's go ahead and schedule a quick event because I want to show you what happens inside of Google Calendar when you schedule these events. And you see, I already have one called uh, Super Duper Meetathon, which I created earlier. And let's schedule another one, and we'll call it um, Extra Fancy uh, Tech Rehearsal. And let's schedule it for uh, Sunday, coming up here. Click the Schedule button, and Extra Fancy Tech Rehearsal is there now. And Super Duper Meetathon also is there in this test 354. Okay, that's all fine and dandy. Let's go over to Google Calendar. So I'm going to go to Google and I want to look at my calendar. Now you see that test 3545 is here, but the other two that I scheduled here are not on the page. They're not listed, right? And the reason is because it puts it on the Maricopa calendar, not on your MCC calendar or not on your Mesa CC calendar, and you're logged into Mesa CC up here, not logged into Maricopa. No problem. Let's go ahead and add that calendar here. Now, sometimes you can click the plus sign here and just subscribe to it, but I had problems with that working, um, so I'm going to do it a different way. I'll show you the different way, and it is it, File, New Incognito Window. So I'm going to open a new window, only because I don't want to get my Googles mixed up. So let's go to Google, and I want to sign into this Google website, and I'm going to use my MEID at maricopa.edu. Now you could probably just enter at maricopa.edu there, but I don't know. That's what I'm doing, and then use your MEID again. enter your password, and we are in. Okay, so up here, uh, click the little dots there, and go to Calendar. And what we want to do is we want to share our calendar with someone else. The, our calendar is this top one here that says your name, and you click these three dots there, go to the Settings and Sharing, click on that, and down here at the bottom, you can share with specific people. Now, Interestingly, it says that it's kind of already shared with me, and that should uh, help things out, but it's not working for me, so I'm just going to be sure by adding my uh, other email, which is my first name, dot last name at mesacc.edu, and I want them to be able to make changes to the event and everything. So that gives total access. Click the Send button. And uh, that should be all we got to do over here. Now, I believe now that it is shared with this account, I can click on the plus sign, subscribe to calendar, and add it in again. DAVVD, add my Maricopa in there, and then we're going to go back to settings, and there we go. Now we've got the super duper meeting. So, did you catch that? I clicked the plus sign, I entered MEID, plus sign, subscribe to calendar, you enter in your MEID at maricopa.edu, hit enter. And then go back here, and now you've got all the meetings showing up on your calendar there. You'll see it, sh it shows a second uh, 
calendar down here for your MEID at Maricopa. Um, the other thing you want to do is you want to click this little WebEx uh, button over here. If you don't see this button, you might have to contact the Help Center. But I'll click this WebEx button. And uh, I'm already logged in, but I'm going to show you how to. So I'm going to sign out of this. And what this is going to do is going to change it so that when you add events here in the calendar, it actually adds it to the Maricopa uh, installation of WebEx, not the Mesa Community College one. So I'm going to sign out so you see what that looks like for me. I know I had some problems with it, so I'll show you how to get around those problems if you run into them. Um, click the Get Started button here, and it is going to ask you to choose an account. You can really only choose this one here, the MEID at Mesa CC. Um, click that one, and give it permission. Allow. Now it's going to give you an error if, if you're like me. There we go. Yeah, your account does not have access to this website. You know what? So I just close this out, then I click Get Started again, and here we go. <laughs> now you change this from Mesa CC to maricopa.webex.com. So it should say maricopa.webex.com, and click Next. Give it a few seconds, and ha-ha, there we go. Maricopa.webex.com is now the default site when you create events in Google Calendar. So that's what that's about, is if you create an event here, oops, I didn't mean to do that. If you create an event there, then you can add video conferencing using WebEx, and it will create the meeting using your Maricopa.webex.com installation, which is what you where you want it to be. It's what you want it to look like nowadays. I keep clicking that, sorry. And what that does is it makes it so that when you add, so let's say we've got the super duper meeting here, and we add a new meeting, and we'll call it coworkers meet to discuss things. Uh, you add video conferencing, WebEx meeting, and click save. And so now, theoretically, this should show up in the WebEx site here. I'm going to hit refresh over here, maricopawebex.com. And there it is, coworkers meet to discuss things. Now, one, there's a couple of things to know, notice. And the one is that if we look at this, so I made this event using Google, right? And so um, if you see, we can turn off my Mesa Community College calendar. That's where it's showing up. Whereas these events I made using the, um, Maricopa, the WebEx site up here. I'm going to turn this off for a second. So you'll see the events you make on Google Calendar show up on your on your Mesa Community College calendar, and then the events that you make in the WebEx show up on your web on your Maricopa calendar. So that's why we need to make sure we can see both Maricopa and Mesa Community College calendar. So there's a couple of important things to know about <clears throat> booking on Google Calendar. If you book just using Google Calendar by clicking anywhere and creating an event, adding video conferencing, you don't have all the bells and whistles um, that you do when you create the event here in uh, the WebEx site. You'll see that if you click on Super Duper Meetathon, which we created using the WebEx site, you can edit the event here, and it gives you all these advanced options like um, scheduling options, automatically start recording, all kinds of stuff, right? But the events. The other event that I just made called Coworkers Meeting to Discuss Things, look, the edit button's not there. Okay, so you don't have access to all that fancy stuff. Also, if you make any changes in Google Calendar here, uh, Coworkers Meet to Discuss, let's change it to the 30th instead. And go back over here to my meetings. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't actually um, track that. So you'll see uh, if I change the uh, show date, there we go, change the range there. And it did actually kind of track it, coworkers meeting to discuss things. Now it does say it's on Friday, January 29th, but I thought that I made it for the 30th. See, I have it on the 30th here, and for uh, for whatever reason, even though I said the coworkers meet and discuss things on the 20, on the 30th over here in WebEx, 
it says uh, that it's on the 29th. So now that I demonstrated that, you can see that creating the events inside of Google Calendar has limitations uh, as far as settings and has limitations as far as like the app and the website sometimes will not track accurately the changes you make in Google Calendar. So for that reason, I usually urge people to create your meetings using maricopa.webex.com or the app, and then it should track all the changes properly on the calendar. Now, if you're never ever looking at the app and you're never ever looking at the uh, maricopa.webex.com site and you only use Google Calendar, then knock your socks off, use Google Calendar because these changes will change for other people's Google Calendars. It's just not always on the Webex site here. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't make things even more confusing than they already are, but essentially uh, there's a new login, maricopa.webex.com and log in there create your meetings there, and uh, then connect to your Google Calendar to show, make sure it shows the Maricopa website as well, your Maricopa calendar as well. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact the Help Center at Mesa Community College. Uh, I believe it's helpcenter at mesacc.edu. And uh, until next time, take care out there. Be safe.